Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. And we're going to do another little video for you about aphasia and about all of the different parameters and all of the different kinds of concerns that people have about aphasia. And believe me, I know all about them because I've had very intimate and close relationships with people with aphasia and their caregivers for the last over 40 years. And so in that time, I've learned what the challenges are and quite often how to deal with them in a expedient or in a rapid way. Now, this particular video is on aphasia and uh, is speech return impossible? That's the title of this video. And, you know, for years and years and years, I've met with uh, people with aphasia and their caregivers to do evaluations. Now, when I was in the hospital, I had my own office. I would invite people into the office and uh, they would talk with me and they would tell me, let me tell you some of the things that they would say. They would say, you know, we've been to, gosh, so many therapists and all of these therapists have said that we can't help you or that you've plateaued or that you're not a good candidate for therapy or we just don't think that that you can uh, ever return uh, to speaking again so here let's line you up with a talking machine and you know these patients would continue and then they tell me about their visits with the doctors and they would tell me well Mark we went to the doctor and the doctor would look us over and examine us, uh, predominantly uh, the, the patient with uh, aphasia, and the doctor would say, well, it's, if, if you don't get speech return within the first six months, chances are you never will. And if, for instance, they had aphasia and it was over six months, then they typically hear a statement such as, well, it's over six months, and chances are, if you're if you're going to if you're going to return, get a return on your speaking, that you would be speaking by now. So, chances are, the chances are rather dim. And you know, I can't tell you how devastating that is for people with aphasia and especially their caregivers because they're looking for answers. They're looking for a simple question and the question that they're asking is very simple. Can you help my loved one talk again? You know, they don't want to know can you help my loved one with his cognition they, they, you know, all of those things may be a concern, but usually the most pressing concern is that of having the ability to communicate and having the ability to express what is wanted or needed. So when they come to see me, usually I'm the last stop on the train. I'm the last stop on the railroad tracks. You know, they've been to the hospital. They had hospital speech therapy. Then they maybe they got out for a while and maybe they were in a, a, a rehab center for a while, a residential program, and they had therapy there. And, uh, you know, they probably heard that same Charlie the Tuna expression uh, sorry, Charlie, we can't help you, or you've plateaued, or uh, we don't think you're going to get anywhere further. You know, they, they, and then, so they've been 
to the hospital. They've been to the rehab hospital. Then maybe they went home and they had a speech therapist who came out to the house. And chances are they heard the same thing. Sorry, Charlie, we can't help you. And maybe, even maybe, they even went to a private therapist. And maybe the same thing happened. Well, that's what typically happens. That's one of the things that is frequent. So, I just want to remind you that just because the doctor said that chances are you won't return uh, to talking, or a therapy, therapist said that, or anybody said that, doesn't necessarily mean it, okay? Because there are experts out there in the field who are familiar with aphasia, who have years and years of experience with aphasia, and know what to do and since they've been practicing for so long they have a laundry list of different kinds of procedures to use with people that are making progress slowly they they can figure it out so don't ever think that uh, it's impossible I mean, just think of, you know, just think of Columbus, Christopher Columbus. Everybody thought in Spain and all over the world that the world was flat. And that if you took a boat out to the end of the horizon, you'd fall off the end of the earth. Or how about the Wright brothers? You know, everybody out there was saying a man could fly. Well, if, 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 if God wanted you to fly, he would have put wings on you. You know what I mean? But... So many uh, inventors have come along through the years, through the decades, through the centuries, and have had a burning wish. They've had a burning desire to figure out how to make a light bulb, how to make light without kerosene, how to make a wagon without a horse, Okay? How to make a device that, so that you wouldn't need a filing cabinet anymore with tons of papers in it. So we have the answers, and there are answers out there if you look for it. And so one of the things that I happen to believe, and I hope you happen to believe too, is that nothing is impossible. Quite often, nothing is impossible, and there is always a workaround to almost any particular problem. But you have to find the right person to help identify it, figure it out, and then help implement it with you or your loved one. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist. Thank you for stopping in today. Below this video is a uh, description of the video and within it are the uh, links to my website at teachingoftalking.com which we've just re-released it. It's a brand new website. It's got a ton of stuff in it uh, and things that will help you learn about aphasia so that you can help your loved one even more. Now <clears throat> when you go to the website please click on the questionnaire if you would like to speak with me, if you have a concern, or if you would like to consider to ha me having uh, to help you, uh, mentor you, to help you with your loved one, and to help your loved one speak better. So this is Mark Edelman. Don't forget, before you go, make sure that you turn off the video, go below the video, click on the teaching of talking and please make sure you're on our list to receive free videos and blogs and that you're on our list to receive a questionnaire so that I can help you personally. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, wishing you a great day. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Bye-bye now.